What's the easiest way to transform a perspective image like this one into a 3D model in Revit? In this tutorial, I will explain how to do that and how to transform any lines on an image into Revit's modeling environment or edit mode. So first thing, we take the image file and put it into Photoshop. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more tutorials like this one, please consider supporting Machio on Patreon. There, you can download the images, families, and project files from every single tutorial that I published or will publish. You can also live chat with me about the technical details and be the first to know what's next on Machio. Then, we go to the Edit tab on the main toolbar Click Perspective Warp, then add the grid over the image. Modify the grid by gripping the dots into their places. Make a frame around the perspective part that you would like to straighten out. So now we have a a space that will be flattened or warped. Next, we'd like to click on Warp instead of Layout and click on this grid icon. This will center it vertically and horizontally. Next, we can click on the Finish mode and Resize this image to fit exactly as we need. You can also stretch this image by uh, hold by holding the the shift key and grabbing the image boundaries. Then click on the crop tool, make sure to include the whole image. And from this point on, we can do more, like removing this part to exclude any issues. Use the lasso tool or simply the selection tool and then go to the file tab save this image as next grab the saved image into inkscape You will see a small window. We had a, a tutorial about this uh, software before. You can check it out. And this little window doesn't need any changes. You just click OK. Now we can use any of these options. I I rather I'd rather use Auto Trace. And. Invert image, apply. Okay, so let's take it as it is. Go to the file tab, save as. Save it at the desktop cutting plotter, AutoCAD DXF R14. Then click save. Okay. Now let's go to Revit. Create a new project and let's add a wall to our project that will contain these lines or will be transformed into the pattern. Then select the wall, 
go to the front view, click Edit Profile. Now go to Insert tab, click Import CAD, and change the files of type to DXF. Now after importing this, we can do a little bit of cleanup, but it can be a hassle. I think it's worth it. Um, the transformation of perspective images into a 3D I think that's something.